Spiritual Armor, Ephesians 6.10-24 through 24. The power for the struggle, power for the struggle. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. After the end of this letter, Paul says, finally. But there is one last thing I want to say. I've said much in this letter, but there's one last thing I want to say that be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. You can only be strong in the Lord's power. You can only be strong in the Lord's infinite power versus trying to make it on your own. In other words, lean and depend upon God. You see, Paul's letting them know there will be challenges that are internal and external. But we must realize that our, our struggle against the devil and his demons will be difficult. For your enemy, he goes around looking for ways to destroy God's people. He says, put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. With the soldiers, the soldiers around him all day, it is not unusual that he noticed that their armor, and as they wore their armor, and as a metaphor, he said, put on the whole armor, not half of it. He said, put on the whole armor. And he said, I want you to put it on, but also make use of it. What's the use of having on the armor if you're not using it? What's the use of having weapons if you're not going to be using it? He said, put on the full armor so you might be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil, against the wiles of the devil and his schemes because you must know that they are coming and your job is to stand and resist. See, and you need to understand, he said to them, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. No, we need, we need to know your enemy so that there, that there will be no collateral damages of your loved ones. Knowing that the real enemy is not the ones that are before you, but is the one that is behind all who is causing all the troubles. See, but rest assured, God has power over all of these. God has given a message, and God gives a message and instruction in the ordinary things of life. It is up to us to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is trying to reveal to us as we live this life.